Okay, so today we're going to get in and uh, do the soldering of these capacitors. I still don't have those bipolars, so we'll just use what we have. I've got to go out a bit later and maybe I'll go out and get those and just do that this afternoon. But for the moment, we'll just uh, crack on with this. Uh, you can just have a look at what's going on. Now, I've got, um, you know, a nice soldering iron and a, um, a pump, a desoldering pump, so you know, you don't necessarily need that. You can use like solder wick or, you know, even one of those little hand pump jobs will actually do this quite well. But, you know, I've, I've got the gear, so I'm going to use it. So because this is actually quite boring, uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll get on and do it and we'll probably just sort of do this, you know, in quiet with, um, you know, I'll probably speed it up a bit just so that, you know, you're not here forever. well I'm back I managed to get uh, some of the right capacitors some nice little bipolars um, these are I think slightly higher rated 105 degree so let's stick them in
All right, that looks pretty good. We'll just screw this back down, and uh, that's pretty much all we need to do at the moment for this side. I actually, I want to point out something while we've got it apart. Let's just slide this back a little bit so you can actually see what I'm looking at here. This is actually a good time to maybe pull this out and give this a bit of a clean. As you can see, this is pretty scungy. Um, I might actually leave it to later. It's not such a big deal to get that again. Um, but yeah, probably, you know, if we were doing, you know, things in the most efficient manner, we'd probably do that now. I just don't really want to be bothered with it because I want to get to the other things. I'll do the cosmetics at another time. Don't know if you can see this here, but this, there's a slide switch here and that needs to be in the right position or this is not going to go back in as I was just having a bit of trouble there. This is looking better now, so maybe we can get this down. Something's, I think, failing it. Uh, I'll get that switch there. there you go. So we've got two switches. There's actually, aha, there's a switch there and that switch there. There we go. That looks more like it. Should be able to just screw that down now. Where did I put the screws? Okay, that all looks pretty good. Uh, yes, I haven't forgotten that I didn't oil that. I'm going to do that another time. I basically did want to show the procedure for how to get to that to the guy that was asking the question. So hopefully that's helped him out. I'll get to all that a bit later. I'm pretty keen I want to get to the other side because I know that's where most of my problems are. All of this, I'm, you know, I'm happy to do again. Once I know that I've uh, got a, a viable player, then I'm going to go through and do all the cleaning up and make it all look as good as I can as well. Um, let me flip this back over. You can see like there's a scratch there and there's a bit of scratch on the plastic here so that all kind of needs polishing out as, as best as I can because I want this to actually look as, as good as I can make it. There's a few slightly deeper scratches here. You know they'll take a little bit of work to to make those look nice but uh, for the time being I'm actually worried about or more concerned about you know getting the actual bits and pieces in here fixed and working and once I know that it's it's fine then we'll do all that other stuff so for now I'm pretty happy with that and uh, I think we'll leave this section here and the next section we'll pick up with is we'll start looking at this sled arrangement and uh, you know start going through some of the things that you need to do like you know cleaning up this uh, bar that it ro rolls along and you know just getting all these bits sort of working and and in the right spot and think how to epoxy up the plastics and basically you know just see what you're gonna you're gonna see when you open it up because pretty much these are all going to be the same at this um, time of their life you know 40 years on that plastic's no, not going to survive anymore, they're going to crack, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, so this section we'll leave it here. Adieu,